Hey, welcome back guys, General Tony here, coming back with another Clash Royale episode. So whether you've been playing the game for a couple of days, whether you're new to it, or whether you've been playing it a few weeks or even a few months, I'm sure loads of you want to know, what are the top 5 cards that I would suggest to use inside of a deck to make sure that you win, I would say like 80, maybe even 70-80% of your battles. So the way I see it, there are currently 48 cards inside of this game, and all 48 cards fall into four different categories. You have, for example, the Hog Rider, which is an attacking unit, the Bomb Tower, which is a defensive card, the Spells, which are quite simply spells, and of course, the Troop Assistant. So you've got your arrows, your bombs, your rockets, those sorts of cards. So please bear in mind the top 5 cards I'm about to suggest are for the lower arena, so I'm talking arena 3, 4, 5 and 6, possibly 1 or 2 of them could work well in arena 7. I would suggest if you are in arena 3, 4, 5 and 6 to use at least 2 to 3 of these cards inside of your current deck. So we're going to get ourselves into number 1 and we are going to start off with the attacking cards. So the attacking cards you have in the lower arenas typically are the Giant, the Balloon, and of course the Hog Rider. Those are the main three that you will see inside of the lower arenas. Now you have to make a choice which one of these you shouldn't really use to, or if you do use to, you have to be very careful when you deploy them at the same time. But which one of these would you like to incorporate into your deck? So I have two different decks. I use the Balloon deck with a free spell, and I also use the Hog Rider deck with a few different accompaniments. So please remember, every single thing I'm about to mention is just from my experience and my personal opinion within the game. I have won 15, 16 games in a row at 15 plus 100 trophies, so I would say the deck I use is really damn good. So first one coming up, the attacking card I would suggest to use, there's going to be two of them. Now you can only pick one, in reality you should only pick one. It's going to be the Balloon and it's going to be the Hog Rider. I would stay away from the Giant for now. Now the reason why you're going to pick the Balloon is quite simply, you need to bring a free spell with it. The Balloon Freeze combo, I'm sure you've seen it many a times on YouTube, is an absolute beast if you use it correctly. Just be aware of minions. The Minion Horde can seriously destroy you. That is the first suggestion. The second one is the Hog Rider. I would suggest using the Hog Rider with the Zap spell. Now the Zap spell is disgustingly cheap. It only costs two elixir and loads of people counter Hog Riders with skeleton armies and they also use like loads of like little spears, goblin spears and just the normal standard goblins. So using a Zap spell with the Hog Rider is a great combo. So of course that's going to take us on to the spell. So the second type of card I would suggest to incorporate into your deck. Now there's a choice once again. Inside of the lower arenas though you may see that you don't have options of every single spell. So I would say to go with the zap spell if you're using the hog rider. It's also very cheap as I've stated. And if you are using the balloon I would go ahead and use the free spell. Now if you're using the giant the zap spell tends to work better with the giant. But I would suggest as I said to kind of stay away from the giant just for now. So let's go on to the defense cards. Now, obviously, there are a variety of defense cards available at the lower arenas, arena 3, 4, 5, and 6. But loads of the defense cards have been nerfed. So the cannon was nerfed, the Tesla was also nerfed. Now, in my opinion, I've used every single one of the defense cards, including the Expo, which completely sucks, the Mortar, which I literally hate. And I would say the best defense card by an absolute mile in the lower arenas only is the Bomb Tower. The Bomb Tower is an absolute beast. It can take out Barbarians, Skeletons, bloody Goblins, just loads of different troops. And if you place it close to your towers, then it can get protection from your towers against Minions, Minion Hordes, and of course the Dragons. So that literally covers defenses so damn quickly because in all honesty, the only great defense in the lower arenas is the Bomb Tower. Maybe as you push up, the Inferno Tower can work great against Golems and the bigger units like the Pekkas. So moving on to the next one, spell cards. Which spell card should you use? What are the top spell cards? Now we're going to suggest two as we do use two different decks. Now obviously we've already said them, the Free Spell and the Zap Spell. Zap Spell, extremely cheap and really efficient against Skeletons and uh, Spear Goblins, which loads of people, including Minions as well, sorry which loads of people use in the lower arenas. And then, of course, the free spell, it's going to work great against freezing witches, musketeers, dragons, minion hordes even, and, of course, the towers. So, yeah, we are just going to cap it at that. It's going to be the free spell and the zap spell. So moving on to the troop assistance category, you have the fireball, you have the arrows, and you have the rocket, really. But you could also say that the zap spell kind of falls into this category as well as spells, because I do sometimes use the zap spell instead of the arrows. Now, out of the arrows and the fireball and the rocket, I would suggest stay well clear away from the rocket inside of the lower arenas. It's just too expensive for what it does. Six elixir is just too damn expensive. Now, between the arrows and the fireball, I would suggest if you're going up against the uh, like slightly higher arena levels, I'm talking arena 
a 5 and 6. I would suggest to opt for the Fireball because it can do a lot more damage to ground troops and of course air troops. But if you're in the very low arenas and you are seeing a lot of tier 1 troops, goblins, skeletons, then I would suggest to use the arrows. So moving on to the final category, and this one is the largest, of course. This pretty much sums up every other troop. You've got the Barbarians, the Dragons, the Witch, the Musketeer, loads of different units. And basically what these guys do is they defend and they attack. They're just fantastic. They're like that person in school. There was always that one guy in school who used to be good at everything. Well, basically, these cards are good at everything. For me, there is only one card which I would use out of all of these, which really stands above the others. It's not that, it's not that the others suck. It's just that this one is far... In my opinion, great, and I would say it's the Barbarians. Barbarians, so damn optimal. You can use them in so many damn situations. So that pretty much covers my top five cards. So just to recap, guys, I would opt for the Hog Rider, the Barbarians. I would go for the Arrows. I would go for the Zap Spell. And I would go for the Bomb Tower. Now, those are my top five. Now, you can also substitute them for another top five. You could have the Balloon, the Free Spell, still use the Barbarians. I would go for the Bomb Tower, still one of the great defensive cards inside of the game. And then I would go for maybe the Dragon. The Dragon is definitely one of the most optimal also because it can just, like, put its hand to anything. It can defend, it can attack, and it can just destroy troops. So there we are guys, there are my top 5 cards for the lower arenas, arena 3, 4, 5 and 6, maybe arena 7 as well. So don't forget to slap a like down below if you have enjoyed the video. Subscribe to this channel right now for COC and CR videos every single day. I will see you very shortly in a few hours time for another one. Peace out.